has been directed by Charles Frederick Lindsley. General Monroe, commander of Fort William Henry, has arranged to surrender to the overwhelming French forces of Montcalm and is promised a safe retreat. The English forces are already on the march when Hawkeye arrives with the news that the Iroquois have broken faith with Montcalm and intend to massacre the entire garrison. But he is too late. Already the woods are filled with war hoops. The bloody scalping knives are at work. And the fiendish massacre of Fort William Henry is written on the pages of American colonial history. The accounts of the number who fell in this unhappy affair vary between 500 and 1,500. It is now the hour of sunset, and four men are seen issuing from the trees, advancing slowly toward the smoldering ruins of the fort. Their progress is slow and guarded, as though they dread the renewal of the frightful incident of that early morning. Hawkeye, are you sure that Cora was not among those who escaped? Positive, Major. We followed them almost to the Hudson. Then we must search every inch of the ground among those bodies. Cab, look at that carnage. The demons of hell couldn't equal this cruelty. I, I've followed the trail of blood for years, but I've never seen the hand of the devil so plain as it is here. Mm. What say you, Chingakook? Shall the Hurons boast of this to their women when the snows come? I see it in your eyes, Sagamore. A Huron pays for this before the winds blow away the scent of blood. Look there, Uncas. As I'm a man of white blood, yonder lies a red skin without a hair of his head where nature rooted it. Look to him. He may be one of your people. Yeah. No Delaware. Or neither. Leave him to Raven. Come along, then. <clears throat> What is it, Uncas? God sent it to be a tardy Frencher. No, the boy has found something there in the bushes. Okla, la luca, hola. Bring it here, Uncas. By the Lord, it's a piece of Cora's riding veil. Dark hair, pass here. Then she may have escaped, Hawkeye. Look for the trail. Softly, softly. A step too soon may give us trouble. If she's alone, she's gone in a circle, maybe within a dozen miles of us. If the Hurons have her, she's near the Canada. God forbid. What matter? If she is, the Mohicans and me are on one end of the trail, and we'll find her of a hundred leagues separated. <clears throat> Gently, Uncas, don't forget that light feet leave pain marks. Do you see any tracks, lad? Moccasin. Let me see. You're right, Mohican. What do you make of this telltale? There is no subtle, sly fox. I knew when I saw him with Montcalm yesterday that we'd meet his devil tree again. There'll never be an end to his lope until Kale Deer has a friendly word with him. King of Hook. Is Uncas right? Uncas right. Magua moccasin. If you are right, we must take up the trail at one. Oh. It's not the swiftest leaping deer that gives the longest chase. But I shall not stop until she is found. I know, I know. Move on, Uncas, a little. Keep your eyes on the dried leaves. I'll watch the bushes. Move on. The sun's getting low. Is there nothing I can do? Yes, you can keep in the rear and don't cross the trail. Have they found something else? Uh, the secret is out, Major. Look. Here's the track of that one-sided horse again. And the path pointed straight toward the canners. Holy man, every moment is precious. Keep Cool, keep cool. We're not starting on a squirrel hunt. We'll have to outlive for nights and days and cross a wilderness where the feet of men seldom go before we finish. Then all the more reason to push home. An Indian never starts on an expedition of this sort without smoking over his council fire. Well? We'll go back and light our fire in the ruins of that old fort. And in the morning, we'll take up our work like men and not like either boys. Leave the trail, Sergeant. Bring up it. Well, you'd better get some sleep, Major. We'll have to take an early start. I can never sleep here, Hawkeye. The thought of my murdered friends hangs like a pall upon me. 
Let death cry still ring in my ears. And Cora, I... Oh, it's I... the life of the wilderness, though, friend. But we'll exact vengeance on the violets afore the trail's done. Listen. I keep hearing noises off there on the plain. Is it possible the French haven't deserted the place? No. They're caged safe in Fort Tiber now. Some of Magua's tribe may be hanging around. I think you'd better tell the Indians to put out their fire. Listen. Don't you hear the noise I mean? Uh, Indians seldom lurks about the dead. When he gets a scalp, he's willing to leave his victim to his natural rest. There it is again. I, I hear it. Just some wolves, though. Uh, Major, do you pine that the heaven of a red skin and us whites will be one and the same? No doubt. Don't you? For my part, I believe that paradise is ordained for happiness. And that men will be indulged in it according to their gifts. Now, I therefore judge... Wait. There is something besides wolves moving out there. I feel sure of it. Call Uncas. The boy has Indian senses that are sharper than ours. Uncas. Uncas. Speak lower, man. We don't know what ears are out there. Uncas, here. There's something out there on the plain, boy. Listen. Montcalm may not have called off all his Indians. We'd better stand to our arms. Uncas. Why? He's gone. Where? Our oh, Indian cunning. The land's happened. The lad's halfway to the plain already. Look at the old chief yonder by his fire. If there are skulkers out there, they'll never discover by his face that we suspect danger. But he shouldn't stay there in the light. He'll certainly be the first victim. True. But a single suspicious movement or look might bring on an attack before we're ready. He knows Uncas is out there on a scent. Don't worry. He knows what to do. I'll call him. He'll know this signal. Did he hear? He seems asleep. He's pretending. Notice the turn of his head, though. And the position of his tomahawk. He knows what's up. But he won't make a false move because... I knew he'd be a target in that light. They've got him. Holy oh, hold. He's safe, all right. It was a bad shot. Wait. That was Uncas. How do you know? I know the crack of his rifle. I carried the piece myself once. Ah, Sergeant, that was a close call for you then. You're on, Sue. Sergeant, save. Are the Mingos on us in earnest? One. Not many. Was he watching us? Come to scalp dead. Go boast to squaw, great warrior. Kill many pale face. I thought as much. But the rascal certainly sent his lead close to your head, Sagamore. Oh, sir. What was it, boy? We heard your rifle. Yeah. Or neither. Mm. By the Lord. If the Oneidas are out on the trail, we shall be flanked by devils on every side. Are you sure, Uncas? See? Or neither scalp. Uh, that settles it. We've got the Oneidas on our trail, Major. And we've got to throw them off. Or we'll never reach your gal with the hair on our head. Serpent. We have to change our plan. How? Oh. We'll drop down the hurricane a couple of miles in a canoe. Strike the woods and try to pick up the trail somewhere inland. No fine trail that way. Yes, we can. Take many days. Maybe, but we know they're headed for the calendars, don't we? Forest beat. No fine trail. Kanga Cook is right. We may never pick up Magua's tracks if we don't follow from here. And all the time, Cora is... Patience. The Oneidas. But you said there was only one of them, and his scalp is hanging there in Uncas' belt. He was alone in his deviltry, but his death cry was heard by his friends to pin on that. Put out the fire, Uncas. Find yourself a bed, Major, in some corner of these ruins. I'll call you for sunup. I believe you to be the greatest guide in the colonies, Hawkeye, but I don't agree that you're taking the right course now. Have you forgotten so soon the skulking reptile that stalked our camp a few hours ago? No, but dead men give no cause for fear. 
You shouldn't bend a foot from our true course with so slight a reason. Even Chingakook thinks you're making a mistake. If you'd fought these battles as long as I have, you'd know that every possible precaution is only poor protection at best. Now uh, forget your worries, Major, and look at the glories of nature. In your country, bolster lake like this, it's just a crooked channel studded with hundreds of little islands. Every one a possible ambush. This was the road Montcalm took for his retreat. How do you know but what he left some of his Iroquois to act as a rear guide? Possible, possible. That's why you see Chingakook watching every thicket we've passed the last hour. <clears throat> what is it, Sergeant? I don't see so much as the head of a loon not in the water. Luke. I see nothing but land and water. Ah, Sagamore, there's always reason to what you say. It is only a shade, yet it's not natural. What is it? You see that mist rising above that first island just ahead on the right? It's a streak of fog. It's all around us. It's more like a streak of thin cloud. It's a vapor from the water. Ah, a child could tell that. But what is the edge of blacker smoke that hangs along its lower side? It's my judgment that it comes from a fire that's been suffered to burn low. Then push on for the place and relieve our doubts. The party must be small that can lie on such a tiny bit of land. You can't judge Indian cunning by the rules you read in books. There's just two things to do. One is to turn back and give up any attempt to follow the sly fox for the prison. Never. Very well. Then we must make a push. And if the Indians or Frenchers are in the narrows, run the gauntlet through these Toplin mountains. What say you, Chingatook? Go on. Look to your priming, Major. This may be a sharp tussle before we get through. We may be able to slip by them, unless they're on the lookout. If we can get to that narrow just ahead, we'll be able to throw them off if it comes to a race. Full speed, Chief. It's a camp, all right. I can see two canoes pulled up there in the bushes. The maze haven't got their eyes out of the mist. But we should hear their cursed hoop. Together, Sergeant, Uncas, we're leaving them behind. They've discovered this Hawkeye. Give me the other paddle. Keep your eye on the Major. How many of the varmints? Six, I think. They've pushed off. Then to it, Mohegans. If we can hold this lead, there's nearly an Indian rifle that can hit at this distance. We're gaining every second. Good. Keep to the paddles, Chief. Hand me my rifle, Major. We'll see what Tildare can do at this distance. You can't hit at that distance. Anyway, it's not their lives we want. Stay with your paddle. I want just one shot to teach them to keep their distance. Hawkeye. What is it, Uncas? Ah, oh, boy, you saved a human life with that word. What is it? Uncas, the head of us, Hawkeye. There is another canoe cutting straight across our course. Aye, so that's their game, eh? Set the bow to the west, Chinkakook. We can't make it, Hawkeye. Make for the rocks on the left and stand them off from there. I am strike an ambush, eh? A little more to the west, Sergeant. The knaves are sparing the man to the rifle. Single broken bone will lose our scalps. Edge blow from the sun and put that island between us.